welcome back, man. I told you I got the brand new segment. We up and out. And today, I told you we're going to be interviewing some cool people, some dope facts. We talking facts. We talking about life changing shit right now. I got my boy, Shannon. He here. Originally from, from Florida, down here in Tampa, where we at right now. He up north, loving the snow. I don't know why. But he back down in Tampa for the weekend. And we gonna talk some real shit, man. Put your family on, just like he put his family on. Just like he been putting me on. Man, welcome to the show. We up and out today. Man, I appreciate it. I appreciate y'all, man. Smart man we dealing with. We're here to talk about crypto and just talk about how to change lives, how to change systems. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna let you know I'm here from Tampa, Florida and stuff like that. But at the same time, crypto done changed my life up there in Philadelphia. You know what I'm saying? I took the opportunity to start mining, started staking. And we're going to get in all into that, you know what I'm saying? He got a right. lot of questions for me, but I'm just privileged to be with my brother here right now. He took the opportunity to come where I'm from, and exactly. I'm glad that he's loving it. Exactly. Exactly. So today, we sipping on the good old bourbon, man, that Maker's Mark. You know where to find a Maker's Mark at, cwspurs.com. Don't forget that promo code UMP5. Get you even more money up because we, we talk about saving money. Hey, so I'm going to make sure you save your money, man. Don't forget that promo code UMP5. You get this for like 25 bucks. Man, listen. Use that promo code, save you a percent. Use that crypto card, save you even more percent. We ain't going to get to that yet. We ain't going to get to that yet. But listen, man, we're here to talk about some stuff that people are, are we can say people, some people are afraid of. Some people just hopping on because they see it. We gotta like get some facts out there, get more people interested. If they don't care about it, that's on them. But we just want to let the people know what, what, like what's going on in the world, because the world is definitely changing. Well, we not, always, like same, I will always right? say where well, my community or where I came from, or mm -hmm. even with going to change where we came from, people are always scared of something that's new. Right. You know what I'm saying? When first we came from money, you know what I'm saying? We did the barter system. You was able to receive things off of trading for a chicken for cows. Then we went with gold and silver. Mm -hmm. Then with gold and silver we used uh, cash. Then we use credit cards. Now we use Cash App, Venmo, PayPal. Now we're into digital currency. Right. That's the new age. That's the new world. So with this digital currency, is deflationary. You know what I'm saying? What was gas in 1990 or 19, 2000? It was like a dollar. You know what, right. what I'm saying? A dollar fifty. Now gas is almost four dollars. That's some places like six, like LA, right. thing, places like that. Right. It's like six bucks. I'm frugal. I still go to Save a Lot, and with mm. Save a Lot, chicken wings is twenty five dollars. I only go chicken wings. So with that inflation, our money is losing value as well. Right. So now there's new money, it's called cryptocurrency and it's deflationary. So with that, it's only a certain amount of money. And I'm specifically talking about Bitcoin right now. Okay. It's only 21 million coins, all right? There's 7 billion people on this earth and over 5 billion people have phones, okay? Supply and demand, everybody is gonna want this. But that's a deflationary coin. So with this inflationary problem that we're having, we need to have money that's not being printed just like in America because we're right. just printing money crazy. You understand what I'm saying? So with this deflationary money, we would want to use this crypto and put it into terms of taking our money within our community and building it faster, just like how they do life insurance, just like how they do stocks, just like how they do almost anything else. But now everything else goes up with inflation. But with this deflationary system, it's only going to go up further because our imaginary money or this digital money or whatever, whatever the Federal Reserve is printing is just getting more and more and more of losing value. Right. But Bitcoin goes up at the same time. Yeah. So that's what cryptocurrency is. You know what I'm saying? But uh, people are always going to be scared because it's new. You put your money in it, it goes up and down. But they're not realizing that money goes up and down every year. Like you're supposed to get a raise every year. But inflation was 7% this year. But you got a 3% raise. You lost all your money. No, yeah, don't really but we're not upset money. because we still get a paycheck, but you still lose your money. How are you going to be able to pay your bills if those chicken wings that were 12 or $13 is now $25? Wow. You're losing. You know, for real. You're losing. <laughs> you're losing. <laughs> but I never lost in Bitcoin. I started in 2016. Uh, let me tell you a little bit more. I was depressed. We came out of college. We was told to do everything. You know, right. We're both athletes. We both graduated. But uh, we got a job with a, with, with, with a scholarship. And we got a job with a with a degree, and I didn't receive the salary that I was that I felt that I should have been compensated for. Mm -hmm. Not saying that college didn't help me, because I enjoyed myself at the first HBCU, right. 1837. Let's get it right. Chinese University, shout you out understand to them, what man. I'm saying? But <laughs> the tools that they gave me, I felt like I wasn't compensated for that salary, so I had to find something else. I had to find another entrepreneurial spirit. So I got into Bitcoin, 
and I got into it at a hundred dollars and now from a hundred dollars to sixty thousand dollars it changed my life right but I do what's called dollar cost averaging I kept kept putting money in kept putting money in I kept getting what's called decentralized ownership whatever I own is mine and then it was growing at the same time and it was growing at a very very high rate but at the same time what people are scared of is when it goes down because it's volatile so they say it goes down at a very very fast rate right but I always think about this in my mind. If it started in 2009, it was less than a penny, and then it reached the 60,000, 60, mm -hmm. I don't care what price it is. <laughs> right. So you just said back in 2016 is when you first invested in Bitcoin, correct? Mm -hmm. Like, what made you do that? Was it something that you came across, and how much was it at that time? It was like around, it was like around 400, dollars. It was real volatile, around 800. It just kept going up and down. I kept mm -hmm. showing my my wife at the time, like, look, like, I think we should get into this. She was like, I don't know, it's moving all crazy. I'm like, look, I think we should really, really get into this. So, unfortunately, we end up going back and forth, but we end up doing it. But at the time, it was it was volatile. I was like, it, it, we, we got to get in. So I got in like around $100. What made, you, what made you think that? Like, what gave you that, like, instant to be like, this Bro, is, like, in five years I was now, sitting at a cubicle, and I wasn't making enough money. Mm -hmm. I wasn't making enough money. We come from the environment where we, where we look at entrepreneurs, no matter what way of the community they come from, and we want to get money. We came from college. We supposed to be living. The, we supposed right. to be living the dream. Are we not <laughs> that, supposed that, to be living the dream? That's what they tell you. You go to school, you graduate college, and dreams. But we've been paying back you colleges. as a young black man. I'm telling you, as a young black man, I was depressed. Mm -hmm. I wasn't playing football no more. Okay. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I got my degree. Okay. But I'm not being compensated, and you know what I'm saying? I'm right. not living a life that I felt like I was told I was supposed to dream. It's going paycheck to paycheck. You I was going paycheck to paycheck, you know. and I'm still frugal, and I'm a frugal boy. Right. You feel me? So at the same time, you know what I'm saying? What made me get into it? I was like, I need another job. You know what I'm saying? I was a support coordinator, and I just was on the internet, and I went into Google, and I put in internet money. And literally, Bitcoin came up, and it was an eight-page paper. That's what's called the white paper. Remember that, the white paper. The white paper is very, very important. It's mm -hmm. the underlining and it is the key in the terms and it's literally the business plan of what the cryptocurrency does, what it do, and what's the truth of it. It's decentralized. That's basically how I can break that down. It's literally uh, the crypto manual of that interworking of that coin. And uh, I read it and I was like, yo, I, I want to try. Obviously, the, the money that I'm receiving and what I'm doing is not working. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? And with it, it has changed my life forever. So that's what I got into it. But even with that, when it went at a, a higher rate, I got into all the other systems. I started doing Bitcoin mining. And then now what's new is uh, crypto staking. And what's even newer now is NFTs. We don't want to get into that part. Right. But we'll stay in the crypto. But we get into that because at the same time, it's still within the inner workings of the blockchain and cryptocurrency. Mm -hmm. So it all work hand in hand. It all work hand in hand. So speaking of, uh, uh, of like the blockchain and the crypto coins and different things like that, how do they work to like together as, as a whole system? Is, is that easy to explain like simply or is it more like... The blockchain in itself is just a ledger, okay? Person A and person B, okay? Person A gave person B a drink. And then that contract was to have a discussion about crypto, okay? And within that, it shows on that ledger that we had a transaction, mm -hmm. okay? Now the crypto in terms is more so the reward, okay? A necessary point, I'm talking about Bitcoin again, but other coins as well. In Bitcoin mining, it started as far as work. And with that work, when you verify work, you wanna be rewarded. So you're rewarded Bitcoin. There's an algorithm, SHA-256. And then that 256 is an algorithm that runs all day, okay? And every time it keeps running, every 10 minutes, you're rewarded, all right? You're rewarded a prize for, for getting that algorithm right. Mm -hmm. At first, you were able to use a laptop. Now you have to use these super, super powerful machines. So is that the minor? Those are the minor rigs okay. that we're talking about. So then you're rewarded, okay? So the work that you do, you're rewarded. So back then... Back in the gold rush, the 49er rush or the miners rush or whatever you called it, they used picks, sticks, machines or whatever to dig for gold, right? Mm -hmm. You use that manpower and then you rewarded for receiving that gold. Now, whoever received all that gold at that time, whether they sold it or not, they are very valuable right now. You understand what I'm right. saying? So just like in 2009, people that used their laptops or used their machines, stick picks, you know, understand what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. 
And now that they're rewarded, are very rewarded now at 60,000 as they were getting so many coins back then. Uh, as far as the breakdown, every four years, there's what's called the halving. And I think right now we're at like 12.5, so the next one is gonna be at like 6.25. Okay, so every four years it go down. So like we said before, supply and demand. Right. You know, if you only had so much, if this was somebody's favorite, let's say this was Elon Musk's favorite drink in the world, Bill Gates' favorite drink in the world, and Jeff Bezos' favorite drink in the world, and this was the last bottle. How much you think a shot is gonna cost? A million dollars. <laughs> 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 Remember that billionaire. Yeah. We're gonna go a little bit higher. Yeah, it's a little we're, bit gonna go, we're gonna go a little bit higher. <laughs> so what I mean by that is within that supply and demand, just like how we're reaching for these bitcoins or reaching for any cryptocurrency that you feel is valuable. But I'm a Bitcoin maximalist. I have other coins that we talk about, but I want to talk about the very first one, the very first one that you know, as far as mass adoption or what they use as a digital asset. If they were to say that this was the last bottle, it would be very, very valuable. Mm -hmm. So just like how we say there's only 21 million Bitcoins, bro, it's only so many people in the world. There's a lot of millionaires, so every millionaire won't even be able to have a Bitcoin. So it always lets you know that that's valuable as well. So it defeats the it defeats inflationary, but then with the deflationary purpose, you know that if there's not enough millionaires to receive these 21 million, all right so say <laughs> say if uh right now you go look at bitcoin and the value is forty thousand, and you put forty thousand on it do you own an entire bitcoin you're entire you own an entire bitcoin if you put twenty thousand on it you own 0.5 so if you keep building it's at that point in time that's when you have ownership mm -hmm. okay and then if the price goes up uh say when you bought it at twenty thousand, okay you have 0.5 when it goes and if you bought it at uh you put in twenty thousand, you got it at forty thousand you got 0.5. When it goes up to 80,000, then that 20,000 turns into 40,000. You mm -hmm. understand what I'm saying? Usually people are like, well, when can I sell it and stuff like that? I'm not selling, okay? And that's when I say we talk about systems. Um, platforms as far as like Coinbase and uh, Crypto.com, uh, there's FTX. I want to sh shout everybody out. Voyager, because I use all of them. Use all of them. I okay. use all of them because without using all of them, I can't inform you all and inform my brother about which ones to use. Cash out, PayPal, Venmo. Everybody's starting to get into everybody. crypto now. Everybody. You gotta everybody. know when you're serious. Robinhood, you know, but even with Robinhood, Robinhood, you need to change your ways and you need to move a little faster. I heard they be like, getting people for their money. It's not the fact that they get people <laughs> for their money. You're not allowed to move your money. Okay. It's already a centralized place, but then they don't allow you to move your money. You understand what I'm saying? Cash App allows you to move your money. PayPal, you need to get yourself together. You're not allowed to move your money. <laughs> you understand what I'm saying? You're able to buy the coin, but then the coin is just sitting there. Then you have to sell it. You understand what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. You can't transfer it to Coinbase, or you can't transfer it to uh, Binance, or you can't transfer it to your MetaMask or nothing. It leaves you in a centralized place. So is that really your money? Is that really your money? Feel like but you can't but you at the do. same time, but at the same time, it leaves people that is not aware and is not comfortable to keep their money there. Mm -hmm. But they know that they have somewhat ownership. If you don't have your private keys, it's not your ownership. But within a centralized location, that's why we use banks. Right. You understand what I'm saying? But me and you come from a community where, once more again, we go back to where we were scared. A lot of things happened to us. We're not gonna get into that. That's another segment. But a lot of things will happen to us to where it was passed down to us to where we used to put money in shoeboxes. When we put money up under the bed. I still know some people that don't have a bank account. You know what I'm saying? Because, <laughs> yeah. because where we come from, our, our society has shown us that third parties or banks or people that don't look like us are not there for us. Mm -hmm. But then at the same time, it messes with our wealth and it messes with the generation and the steps moving forward. You know but that's just another thing within systems and within the blockchain that makes things change. You understand yeah. what I'm saying? Because within that, now we can move to something to where nobody knows that it's me and you making a transaction. I can make this transaction whether you like it or not. Whether there's no red line, there's no discrimination. There's nothing that says when I walk in this building, even though the color of my skin, I have all the qualifications, but because you're on the other side, you can say yes or no. Mm -hmm. No matter what. No matter what. So crypto yeah. changes that. Right. And another thing I know is about crypto, if, if you guys ain't been watching TV, if you guys don't watch sports, it's, it's everywhere now. It's not just like 
oh, I heard it here, I heard it there. You've you seen, seen the old Staples Center. You've right. seen the, the old Staples Center. Center. You know, Staples Center is like Added a, legend, to the payroll. A, leg, a legendary place. They changed the, the whole name from Staples Center to, to Crypto.com. Even my favorite team, Dwayne Wade, is my favorite player. Mm -hmm. And when he was at Miami, now they about to change that arena into uh, FTX. So FTX did it first. So mm -hmm. let's give them a shout out first. But Crypto.com took it to a level to where the Staples Center is a staple in our society it of is. America. If you tell somebody they don't even watch sports where Staples Center is, they would know what it they is. They would know where it is. Mm -hmm. You know the majority. So now that you change that name, and even though that, that stadium changed from another place, that is a, 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 a staple in, in America in itself to say, like, hey, this is a stamp. Mm -hmm. Like, we own this. And even where you're from, bro, Philadelphia, the jerseys that's on there, Crypto.com on there. So right. with that advertisement, Bro, add it to the payroll. Exactly. Everybody gonna say that hashtag add it add to, to the, the payroll because what I'm telling you, businesses, we're fighting against businesses. With decentralized ownership, you're able to have your own coin. But now you're fighting against companies. Can you fight against Apple? No matter how hard you try, can you fight against Apple Hell right no. now? If Apple <laughs> say they're gonna put in twenty if they say they're gonna put in a trillion dollars in the Bitcoin, could you fight against that? I cannot. Could you fight against Amazon right now? Hell no. Could you fight against Uber, Lyft? Airbnb, no. but if they start accepting crypto, that means that their company starts making money, right? Mm -hmm. That means that they force us into what their agenda is as far as crypto, right? Mm -hmm. Whether they like it or not, whether you like it or not. So wouldn't you at least want to have one Bitcoin if they're going to have a million Bitcoins? That, make, that makes sense. That definitely makes sense, Because right? you're a human <laughs> being. You're a human being right. compared to a company. Mm -hmm. And a company is always going to work. So if you just have one, that means yeah, the company that works for you. Use. <laughs> and then with everybody use at the same time, your phone is on there as well. Mm -hmm. So you're going to be valuable as far as a product and a service. You feel what I'm saying? Just like how you send money home from one person to the other. But we live in America. It goes into another thing as far as global remittances. You know what I'm saying? I, I'm from here. I don't know where else I'm from. You know, we don't, we don't want to go into another history lesson. <laughs> but I don't know where I'm from. You know what I'm saying? I'm from Tampa, Florida. That's it. If you go any further, I'm just here in America. But they say I'm from somewhere else. But if you follow other people, they come from as far as immigrant families, Mexico, the Philippines, Canada, you know what I'm saying? Australia, you know, parts of countries in Africa. They have to send money back home. Right. There's transaction fees. Western Union is killing people. And with inflation, it's only going to get higher. You understand what I'm saying? Yeah, I mean, they want to make their money. All right. So another way that we get into cryptocurrency is it cuts down on your transaction fees to where it's decentralized and now me and you are rewarded just like how we talked about earlier mm -hmm. that's where staking gets involved so you put your money almost like a, a cd drive you put your money in some place you leave it in for a certain amount of time you get paid overtime but all you're doing is securing the network so now you're getting paid so now when people from uh, america send money to mexico or when they send money to australia or the philippines or afghanistan or iraq or anywhere anywhere you get paid for that transaction. I'd rather get paid than pay somebody. Understood. All, everything he's saying Understood. is making sense right now. Understood. So all um, of these are systems. Right. And with systems, we were never able to be involved because big companies or third trusted parties were able to take that money. Western Union, Bank of America, so on and so on. Now, as decentralized owners, everybody that's involved in that network gets paid for the service that they're on. Right. You understand what I'm saying? Imagine if everybody got paid rewards just like how they do, but if they got paid like real money for being on Uber or for taking a flight, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, you get little rewards, but if you got paid the yeah. real money, just like the ownership of stocks, if everything that they did, you got paid the money back that with, with that product and service, it'll change the world. That's what Web3 is and decentralized ownership is. Mm -hmm. So, um, do they, I know you talked about uh, Crypto.com, you talked about Coinbase and things like that. Mm -hmm. Do they actually have like cards and things you can use to like... Yeah, they got. They have debit cards. Do you use Visa or MasterCard? Both. You use both. Well, <laughs> right now, right now, PayPal has a MasterCard. Mm -hmm. Okay, you can use off of there. Okay, Coinbase has Visa card. Crypto.com has Visa card. Uh, uh, Blockfolio has Visa card. Voyager has Visa card. I think Celsius is either coming out with MasterCard or Visa Card. All of these are companies. Fold, Fold has Visa Card. Mm -hmm. All of these companies are using Visa or MasterCard. So, excuse me. 
you're, they're using it on a one by one basis. So you're using your crypto, and Visa is just using the U.S. dollar or whatever um, currency that you use. Mm -hmm. But what I like, and the best part is, you get four percent off for all your purchases on Coinbase.com. Now there 4%? are four percent. Now there are top tiers, um, like levels. It's levels to this thing on Crypto.com. If you have four hundred thousand, uh, it's eight percent. Uh, if it's forty thousand. It's like five percent. If it's four thousand, Royal Indigo. That's the one I have. Uh, it's four thousand, and then there's other tiers, and uh, you can get uh, Amazon discounts. You can get Spotify discount, Netflix discounts, and that's on the Crypto.com. I'm all about saving money, man. Yes, <laughs> I'm all yes. about saving money. I don't. Money, so. I don't pay for Netflix and Spotify no more. I don't pay that because my Crypto.com pays for it. So Crypto.com pays all that for you. That's yeah, less, less bills. Yes, less bills. Less bro. bills to worry I'm about. Frugal. I keep saying that. Frugal. <laughs> I'm frugal, but it, it's all about systems. We found these systems, and uh, now that they are able to uh, offer this to me, I'm going to take it, and I'm going to take it within the advantage of saving money and saving money for my family. But only that, compound interest. He who knows it, earns it. Who doesn't, pays it. You yeah. understand what I'm saying? It's the eighth greatest wonder of the world. You know what I'm saying? And with that money, a dollar a day, that's 365. But you know what I'm saying? Put a zero on it, the power of the zero. It only gets bigger and bigger and bigger. Right. So, you know what I'm saying? We just take it a day at a time. Um, but the Coinbase card, uh, even with Cash App, you could take your money, sell it, and then use your uh, debit card with that. That's Visa. Um, uh, I'm not losing my thought. I, I'm just thinking of the system right now. The Coinbase card, I really like to say that I like the most at the point in time right now. It's because it's 4%. You don't have to put nothing into it. You can just already apply for the card. And, you know what I'm saying? Uh, use USDC. USDC is a coin. It's a dollar for a dollar coin, uh, and it's no fee. So if you put a hundred dollars on that, a hundred dollars is going to your USD card. And let's say you pay a hundred dollar bill, it's four percent off. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? That's that's amazing. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Sometimes so yeah. people see the number and they like, oh, that's a low number, but at the end of the day, it all adds up and it's free money. What? What? Twenty five. <laughs> so so easy math because now 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 we got our math together. You know what I'm saying? Twenty five hundred on the four percent. That's a hundred dollars. A hundred times twelve. That's twelve hundred dollars. That go Christmas. $200 for Christmas, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? Let's say you let's say you take off $100, and I know it's going to be a little bit more. You want to use Black Friday because we're using savings, right. you know what I'm saying? And then you take those savings, and then you use 4% on that. You understand what I'm saying? This is life changing, right? You know what I'm saying? We're fighting against inflation. So if inflation is 7%, and you're getting 4% off for all your rewards and everything that's going toward crypto, that's also rising, even though it's volatile. I'm not a financial advisor. It does go up and down. But majority of it goes up when your dollar is continuously going down because inflation is continuously what? It's been going doing it up. Since, since we've been living. Since we've been living. <laughs> since we've been living, dollars so, been going down. So what down. are we talking about? What are we talking about? Since we've been living. What are we talking about? So have the enthusiasm to think above that. We have to think macro, not micro. So take these advantages of this 4%. Pay your bills that you wasn't going to pay and that you were going to pay and not get money back for it. And Bitcoin will hit 100k this year, man. Look, I, I believe it. Look, Tom Brady already done went off on his tour. He gonna start promoting Bitcoin. You know what I'm saying? This year, man. Watch the Super Bowl. You know what I'm saying? Or something like that. How many commercials like you'll see? How many commercials you about to see? You know what I'm saying? And this was not going on in 2016. I, I love to see how the community is. I love to see how influencers like you yourself and with anything we could talk and have a drink. And you know, I'm not even a drinker. But you know what I'm saying? You open me up and you uh, open me up with your arms for your show and stuff like right. that to put the Thank gratitude of how you can put everything in per into perspective with cryptocurrency, NFTs, and everything. You know what I'm saying? Because the money going to grow. Right. The money is going to grow regardless. And we have to take advantage of it Let's regardless. Take advantage of it, man. We have to take advantage of the, the camera that's, you know what I'm saying, making this content. At the end of the day, when the views go up and when everything go up, we should be getting paid in crypto. Because that money gonna grow. Dollar cost averaging. Or you take that money, you put it into your USDC account, you use your Coinbase card, and then when you make purchases of business expenses, boom, that's four percent off. We making money while talking about money while getting money. Man, you add it to the payroll. Add it to the payroll, man. <laughs> Shannon, I want to thank you for coming through, educating me, educating the people, the followers, man. Um, is there any way they can follow you? Get any advice or any any updates on the crypto? Man, I'm a ghost in this world. Oh, I'm man. just playing. <laughs> <laughs> at one solo boss, man. At one solo boss, one. At one solo boss, one. Add it to the payroll. Add it to the payroll. I want to thank you for coming through, man. You already know, big bro.
Man, we up and out, man. Thank you for tuning in to another episode. Make sure you subscribe. Make sure you like. Make sure you comment. What coins are you into? I mean, let us know, man. If you disagree, that's okay. We like to hear your opinion. Why? You know what I mean? If you like making money, if you like saving money, man, let us know that too, man. But thank you for tuning in to another episode of Up and Out. And we out. We out.